One of the great benefits of getting into the CNC is that it can grow with you as your needs change. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Brett, and this is my laser garage. Me and my wife run a full-time laser engraving business out of our home, and this channel is all about helping you out with your laser or CNC business. Today, we'll be looking at yet another great feature of the Masuder 3S CNC by Fox Alien. If you haven't seen my past videos about the CNC, I'll leave a link in the description so you can learn more about it. Overall, I think the Masuder 3S is a pretty beefy budget desktop CNC, and I like it a lot. If you have the CNC or are looking to get into CNC routing, make sure you give this model a look. One of the great benefits of getting into the CNC is that it can grow with you as your needs change. The standard Masuder 3S kit has a working area of 400 by 400 millimeters, and that's a great size if you don't have a lot of room in your shop or you're just starting out. But if you're looking to get into larger projects, Fox Alien also offers an X-axis extension kit, which increases that working area to 400 by 800 millimeters, or about 15 and 3 quarters inch by 31 and a half inches. This comes as an add-on kit to upgrade your original 400 by 400 Masuder 3S, or you can buy this kit from the start and immediately enjoy the extra space. Let's learn more about this extension kit. Installation was straightforward and overall simple. It just took some time, basically because you're rebuilding the entire CNC for the most part. The instructions walk you through everything very clearly, and overall it took me about an hour and a half to put everything together. Not trying to break any speed records or anything over here. If you wanna see a detailed step-by-step -step instruction on how to assemble this, I recommend you check out the Crawl Space Craftsman's YouTube video where he goes over all of this in detail. I'll link to his video in the description below if you wanna check it out. Another feature of this kit besides the extra workspace is the upgraded spoil board. I'm really a big fan of these hybrid style spoil boards. It reminds me of my Shape Oko 5 Pro. They're cool because you have a lot of different clamping capabilities with the T-Track, and if individual slats get damaged, you can just replace the slat. In the future, I may add some threaded inserts in the center of the slats like I do with my upgraded Shapeoko 5 Pro slats that I sell. If you haven't seen those, make sure to check out this video here. Anyway, would anyone out there be interested in seeing an upgraded version of these slats? Let me know. Now that we've got everything installed, let's take it for a test drive. For this project, I'm gonna make a simple leaning welcome sign for a front porch. I want this to be as long as possible, so I selected a piece of wood that's about 32 inches long. This project is going to utilize two pocketing tool paths, the first with a quarter inch upcut end mill, and the second with an eighth inch upcut end mill. So as we check out the Masuder 3S making quick work of this sign, tell me, are you new to CNC routing? If so, what projects are you interested in making? What are some of your biggest challenges or questions that you have? Leave a comment below and let me know. I'm planning a new CNC beginner series and I'm looking for your help in order to cover topics you really want to know about. Now that our sign is all machined, let's take it off the CNC and finish it off. One of the things I like about using natural wood without stain is it makes it so much easier to paint letters or pockets. Since I'm planning on just painting these letters black and leaving the wood natural, I don't even need to mask anything. First, I'll spray shellac on the entire piece. This helps create a smooth paint finish and also helps with cleanup. Then I'll just brush or spray on the paint into the letter pockets. Let it dry, then sand everything off the top. A final coat of shellac and we're all finished up, ready to display. I really like this extension kit. The original Masuda 3S is a good size to get started, but upgrading the X-axis to 800 millimeters is a big improvement and opens up even more projects. If you're into making signs or flags, or even just want more room to batch out smaller projects like whiskey smokers or coasters, this extension kit is for you. If you're interested in seeing my full thoughts on this CNC, make sure to check out my Masuda 3S playlist that I'll link in the description. Also, if you're interested in purchasing any Fox Alien CNC or product, I'll have an affiliate link in the description below. Using this link to purchase doesn't cost you anything, but gives me a little kickback. This helps me to continue to make content like this, so I really appreciate it. If you like this video, hit that like button, and don't forget to check out my other laser and CNC videos showing up on your screen in a few seconds. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.